So one of the most popular questions on the Back to India community is whether you should ship your TV to India and if yes, what's the best way to? In this video, we'll take a look at this topic from different angles and try to answer it in a logical way. Let's go. Hey, welcome to Return to India YouTube channel. My name is Mani Karthik and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe because on this channel and the community, we're trying to do all that we can to help NRIs who wants to return back to India, make their transition easy and smooth by answering questions, sharing the information that we know and generally being helpful. I personally moved back to India in 2017, quitting my job in the USA and there are many like me making the move and sharing what they learned in the process. Please join us at backtoindia.com to join the community. So coming to the topic of shipping TVs to India, let's take a look at why someone would want to ship their TV to India in the first place. So there are two major reasons. One is that TVs, especially the big and latest technology ones, are cheaper when bought in the USA. If you check and compare the prices online, you will notice that the prices are significantly different in USA and India. Second reason is that some folks may have an emotional attachment to the TV or would want to have and use the same TV they were using over the years in US in India as well. Fair enough. So is it a good idea to ship TVs to India? That's a big question. So there is more to this than we know. Let's ask some questions. First, are you moving back to India? Do you have a plan already? Two, are there other personal belongings that you are shipping? Three, how are you shipping your stuff? Do you have a container booked or are you sending the TV just by itself? Four, are you sending it via air or are you taking it as hand baggage during your flight? So these are the different scenarios we have to look at. Let's start looking at it from the not so good scenarios first. Taking your TV as hand baggage during flight. This scenario sounds like a pretty straightforward one. While it is technically possible to take your TV as hand baggage, there might be issues you will come across. Like for example, how big is your TV? Many airlines have limitations on the number of pieces of luggage you can carry. While it is safe to say that you can have as much as extra baggage as possible, depending on your ticket fare, class and flight, it may be a good idea to check with your airline prior to departure whether they allow TV in carry bags or as luggage. I remember there was one incident reported in our WhatsApp community where one member had called up the customer service of this airline and confirmed that it was okay to carry the TV as luggage because the dimensions he reported were within the allowed limits. But on check-in, it was found that the dimensions were diagonally measured and not horizontally, which created a confusion and hence he wasn't allowed to take the TV as luggage. He could have taken it paying excess baggage fees, but that was not worth it. So he had to arrange a friend to come pick up the TV from the check-in. This is not trying to say that you cannot carry TV as hand baggage or luggage. It is technically possible and in many cases allowed. But a lot depends on the TV size, the weight and even sometimes the technology behind it. So it's a better idea not to take it with you as it might affect your otherwise peaceful journey. Or worst case, always expect it to be denied by the airline and not the other way around. So the other better method to ship your TV to India is via a shipping agency. There are two options here. One, you can take your TV along with all the other items you're shipping, like in a container or with a large shipment. Second, you can ship your TV alone by itself. My learning is that the best way is to send your TV along with all the other stuff. That way the TV is along with other things and doesn't need to be examined individually and overall doesn't raise any issues with customs. Well, mostly. Those folks who were successful in shipping their TV to India had their TV shipped along with their other household items. The advantage is that the shipping agency gets approval and clearance from customs comparatively easier as it is a transfer of residence. So your TV is treated as a household item. Now compare this scenario to when you're sending the TV by itself. The chances of it getting flagged by customs is more. There might be thorough checks and screening for obvious reasons. Plus, you might have to pay duties to customs for importing a TV. How much is that going to be depends on your TV brand, the market value, and can go anywhere from 10 to 30% of the market price as determined by the customs officer. 
This is a gray area, so take this information with a pinch of salt. So the easiest way to get your TV shipped to India is through a shipping agency along with your other household items during a transfer of residence, not by itself. In this scenario, the chances of you getting charged for custom duties on your TV is less unless of course it is a brand new TV or if there are many TVs in your shipment or something similar to that. Finally, some tips for shipping your TV safely. One, make sure that you opt for a wooden box package. This is a great way to make sure that there are no damages to your TV. Two, make sure that you carry a warranty card and purchase details just in case customs ask for it. Third, and a very important point, if you are shipping your TV alone without your household items, there is a high chance that you will have to show up at the port of entry at the customs office directly for verification purposes. This is because you are shipping an electronic device which can be subject to verification and clearance. So while you are shipping your household items and your TV along with it, you might have to give your passport too for verification at the customs port of entry. Usually the shipping agents will do this for you. So there you go. Those are the things I wanted to share with you regarding shipping your TV to India. Most of these are insights from our WhatsApp and Facebook group. Every other day, someone asked this question and I thought it would be a good idea to make a video for reference. Hope it was useful. If you have more questions, feel free to join our community at backtoindia.com. This is Mani Karthik signing off.